Longtime crime reporter Sam Quinones says writing about heroin addiction is really about writing America's story of who we are and what we've become. The author of the highly praised book Dreamland, the true tale of America's opioid epidemic, epidemic rather, joins me coming up on Connections this coming weekend. And we're so glad to have you, Sam. You've been to Kentucky a lot, and we consider you a champion for this cause. Mm -hmm. uh, the governor of our state has given you a lot of high praise. He's read Dreamland and of. refers to it often. So congratulations on your advocacy work on this issue. Thanks very much. I actually tend to look at it not as advocacy issue uh, uh, work, but as I'm a journalist uh -huh. telling a story. And if you, I, I believe that the proper role for a journalist is simply to tell the story. Then, then you, American okay. citizen, can use that information to figure out how you feel about it, how you feel about the people in, involved. Uh, I, that's, I, I try not to be maybe an activist on this on this topic. Mm -hmm. I try to that's say, look, here's here are the facts that I found. Right. Here's here's. A, a, a few suggestions about maybe lessons we we ought to have learned, um, uh -huh. and 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 you know take it from there. What lessons do you think we have learned since the 2015 release of Dreamland? I think that this uh, that that this is a problem is everywhere in America, um, virtually everywhere. Uh, it that it is um, a problem that that grows from our own desire to uh, feel no pain, uh, largely. Uh, that it that it um, has to do with doctors buying into an idea that that these pills were now virtually non-addictive. These narcotic painkillers were virtually non-addictive, and we didn't uh, take into account that that might not be true. But also that we were right next to a country where uh, that had a very large and developed. Um, drug trafficking infrastructure, and that that is also mm -hmm. a big, big part of this of this story in in in, 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 in Mexico right. uh, as well. And and so maybe this is a story for how you 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 ought to be very careful about adopting um, magic bullet answers to complicated problems, and that the world will not allow you to get away with it. Frankly, mm -hmm. do you fear that because of the epidemic that is nationwide and so widespread, and particularly here in Kentucky and West Virginia and Ohio, you know this kind of regional yeah. uh, approach here? Do you think the pendulum is swinging the other way, where doctors may be more fearful to prescribe, and that we may uh, have more people in pain unnecessarily? I'm, I'm afraid of that it. that may be happening. I would be um, uh, uh, that would be upsetting to to see because it would seem to me that the lesson is uh, uh, nuance. You know that, that applying individual approaches to pain management are really the way to go, and not blanket. So it's not okay to say uh, all everybody gets the same kind of pill for all kind of pain and all kind of personal background. Uh, uh, just as it's not okay to say nobody mm -hmm. gets this, and that everybody needs to um, just suck it up. Yeah. To me, that's that's also uh, we need to find that that happy medium, which we apparently do not do too well in this country. Right. I don't know. Well, well, you do a very uh, good job, uh, job well done on the book and all Thank of you. your journalistic endeavors Thanks in bringing attention to the opioid epidemic across this nation and particularly here in Kentucky. You can learn more about Dreamland and the author Sam Kionis coming up on Connections Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2, Sunday at 1:30 Eastern Time on KET the Main Channel, and you can watch online anytime after that at KET.org/connections. Hope to see you.